Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my everyday makeup drawer for spring. I decided I wanted to bring these videos back for a few different reasons. Um, I haven't done an everyday makeup drawer video since last spring because I've been wearing the same makeup since then. Um, I have been switching out some of the foundations. Like I've gotten some new makeup products and I'll show you guys that and some products that I have basically hit pan on. Um, but when it comes to like eyeshadow products and stuff, like I've been wearing like the same two shadows every day for like six months. Um, so I am ready to switch some of those products out. I recently did a huge declutter. I'll link that below. I got rid of half of my makeup collection. So much happier. Um, and I put the products that I kept right behind me in this Alex drawer. It's temporarily right here. It normally goes in this closet, but I figured for today we're not going to like be in my closet. I'll have it out here. And I'm just going to keep my makeup in there in the closet until I move out. We're in the process of buying a house. So um, I'm kind of like in between getting myself organized in this space. I know I've been here for like six months, but it's almost time to start packing to move again. So I'm kind of like in this makeshift situation with my makeup collection. So I want to um, pick out the products that I'm going to use from now, honestly, maybe until I move, like now until the beginning of summertime and kind of keep that in mind. Um, I do plan on buying some new products during the Sephora VIB sale in the next two weeks. I have my, um, oat milk latte. I've been getting one before filming and just every day basically, <laughs> especially since daylight savings. I still haven't gotten used to that and it's been two weeks, so... Definitely love these. Um, we're going to get into it, go through my collection. I'll show you guys what I've been using on a daily basis, what I'm loving, um, what I'm not using, what I'm hitting pan on. And then we're going to go through my collection, the products that I have not touched in over six months and see what I end up wanting to use and if I still like those products. All right, so all of the makeup that I pull from on a daily basis is in these two drawers. This is all my foundations face makeup, and then this is all eye makeup. I'll leave my makeup collection video below if you guys want a little bit more detail into it. All right, so this has gotten a bit messier as I've added more products to it, but I have some empties in here. First of all, the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I believe I just used this up today, so that is an empty that I really like if you want um, like a long wearing matte blurring primer that does not dry out your skin. This was a really good one. Another thing I used up was this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bronzer. This was like my holy grail bronzer. I was honestly still using it like yesterday. <laughs> Just like taking my brush like this. This is worth like $30. I wanted to make sure I got every cent out of this bronzer. But these are two recent empties. So I can get rid of that. And then next up, let's see. There are some products I absolutely love and need to keep in here, like the Benefit Georgia Blush. Um, I film a ton of Instagram tutorials, and I use this one every time. It's probably annoying to see the same blush over and over, but I am so determined to use this up within the next month. Like Once a product gets to this point, I want to make sure I actually used it up and not just like put it on the back burner and then have it just sit there. So I am definitely keeping this here to use it up. Same thing goes for a couple highlighters. These two highlighters are like a never ending saga of me trying to use them up. That one is kind of stuck in there. All right, this one is Persona Zuma. A lot of people would throw this away, but to me this is beautiful and deserves to be used. So I will throw this away by the end of April. I can commit to that. I honestly have a brand new one I could use, but I'm like stubborn and need to use the whole thing up. This is Jue Topaz. Same thing, let's toss this by the end of April because honestly this is so annoying. It stained my chair the other day when I was applying it because like big chunks just fall out. But again, I am de determined to use the whole thing up. So I'm gonna be keeping those in my drawers. I'm just gonna pull some things out so you guys can see what my favorite things are. Okay, right now I'm really loving this primer from Benefit. This is the Professional Hydrate Primer. One of my favorite combinations. I think I did this in my last Get Ready With Me. Start my face off with this facial oil from e.l.f. e.l.f. is killing it lately. And then go on top with this. I have dry skin and this is an awesome blurring, long wearing combination. So those products will stay in my drawer along with the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. This is one of my favorite 
hydrating, just dewy, glowy skin primers. Um, one thing I could put away for now is the Elemis Superfood Primer. It's fine. I used it for a while, but um, I'd rather switch this with another primer. Um, we'll see about the Rare Beauty one. This one's also small. I can use it by this summer. And it's kind of like a glowy primer, so maybe I'll keep it in here. It's definitely very illuminating. I haven't been using this Touch and Soul Glossy Primer, so I'm gonna put this away and switch it out for something different. I have a ton of e.l.f. blush products. I've been using them quite a bit, so I really wanna switch them out with something different in my collection. So for foundation, this is the only one I've worn in the last month. I honestly think I will use this whole thing up by the summer, so I'm gonna keep this in my everyday makeup drawer. It's definitely a favorite. I have a review of it on my Instagram if you guys are curious about it. It's definitely awesome. I'm really not interested in full coverage foundations right now, so I am gonna put these away. These are great for summertime, like once I get into June or May. These are gonna be great once it's like super hot, especially the NARS and the Smashbox one because they're super matte. This one's full coverage but a little bit dewy. Um, but I'm just really not into too much coverage at the moment. I still haven't tried out this pure tinted moisturizer. Maybe I'll keep this in here just because it kind of gets lost into all this. And the Beauty Blender foundation I actually really like. It's like a really nice medium coverage foundation. The shade that I wear is 3.2. The only reason, honestly, the gimmick behind it is the part that makes me not use this as often as I can because once you pump it out, you have like the foundation here, but then it gets messy and dry and you have to clean it off. And I don't feel like dealing with that, so that makes me not use it. Like if it wasn't a regular pump, I would totally use this foundation every day. It's an awesome formula, but it's, it's just such a messy product. I don't know, I don't get it really. And then I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm determined to use this up. I've had it for a long time. So I'm gonna be using it a ton. I've been wearing it like every day. I have this foundation from Wander. It's something that's a little light for me. So I mix it in with some of my other foundations that are a little darker. So I'm just gonna hang on to this maybe another month until it's a bit more used up because it's something I can't wear on its own. Um, I think I'll keep this foundation in here, the Rare Beauty one. It's an awesome medium coverage, um, lightweight foundation, like it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. This is really great. I really love Rare Beauty. I'm excited to try more from them. All of these setting sprays I honestly use every single day. I have been very into setting spray lately. Um, before, I did not apply setting spray every day. I would only really apply it when I had like a full coverage, really intense makeup look. I wouldn't do it for like a lightweight, basically very natural makeup look, but now I apply a ton of setting spray every day. So I use this one from Anastasia with my eyeshadows. You can see it's almost used up. I'm down to the bottom of it. Um, just to wet my shadows to make them like sparkle more. And then these are my two favorites. I've used quite a bit of both. I rotate between both of these on a daily basis. They are so good. I bought them both in the last year and I have used these two more than any other setting spray in my lifetime. I can basically say these two products made me fall in love with the idea of setting my face. <laughs> then I have this one from Urban Decay. I'm honestly not gonna use this. Like this does not compare to those other setting sprays. Like it's way too matte to me. I have a ton of highlighters in here. Ofra Blissful is my holy grail highlighter at the moment. I think that I have used quite a bit of this. Like I'm almost hitting pan on that. And then this one is Soho. I don't wear this one as much, but I wear this one a ton. Um, I'm kind of getting sick of wearing it every single day because I know I have some other beautiful highlighters, so I'm gonna put these away, but I just love the Ofra highlighter formula. I have this ColourPop blush, but I have hit pin on it, but I think I'm a little bored of wearing it often, so I wanna switch it out for something different. Then I basically just have like all my everyday products, like my beauty blenders, my powders, um, I think the only thing I don't want to keep in here for now is the Laura Mercier Honey Powder. I like this a lot, but I'm using the translucent one. The shade Honey works a little bit better in the summertime when I'm a little bit more tan. And I think I'm keeping everything else in here. I've been using the NARS Laguna Bronzer every day. I have random bobby pin in here. Oh, actually, I don't really want to keep the Ilia 
tinted skin tint in here. I was wearing this more often at the beginning of the year when I was doing really light coverage makeup, but now since I got the Urban Decay foundation, I love wearing that every day. Like I look forward to putting it on. Okay, the rest in here is just like beauty blenders, my everyday contour kit, cream contours. Um, I did put my Chanel bronzer in here. It's a little reddish. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it for the last week. I'm going to keep wearing it and then I might get rid of it. Um, I don't know, maybe in a couple months just because I got it so many years ago. And I do want to replace it with some other cream product. These are my everyday concealers. Maybe I'll put away the Dose of Colors one. And actually I'll put away the e.l.f. one. I really love the Rare Beauty one. And then I have this one from Fenty. These are the two I rotate between. But yeah, everything else I'm keeping in here. I have a little foundation stick from Merit. And my cream highlighter from Grande Cosmetics. So all of these I will definitely keep wearing throughout the spring. Like these are products that I cannot live without or rotate so i'm gonna put these back in here i'm not too concerned with having everything like look perfectly pretty i'm sorry um but that's just the nature of the shape of the drawers but i think already that looks so much better so i think the only other thing i'll keep in here is this primer from rare beauty that already looks so much better these are the other products that i am gonna put away oh no i'm gonna keep these two I'm getting carried away. I'm gonna keep my Smashbox Primer and Rare Beauty Foundation, but I still have quite a bit of space for one or two more foundations, powders, bronzers, um, some other new items in my collection or rediscovered products in my collection. All right, so here we have my eye makeup drawer. It's definitely very messy, but you guys can see that there's certain things that just kind of take up a lot of space, like this one pair of eyelashes from two different brands. Um, I actually do rotate between these on a weekly basis, so in a few days that will look better. Um, I'm gonna keep all of these eyeliners in here. They're just like my everyday eyeliners. I do wear all of them now that I decluttered my old ones. And I actually can take out these um, single shadows. These are the ones from Tarte and Ciate. I do love both of these formulas, but I want to start wearing my single shadows from Marc Jacobs. I think they're limited edition, but honestly, the formula is so good, and they come out with new shades like every season. I should declutter this mascara from Thrive Cosmetics. I believe I bought this uh like last august and then it fell in the back of my drawer and i didn't get to use it up in time but i honestly bought it so many months ago so i should probably toss it this is my everyday favorite palette from too faced or just in general this is what i've been wearing on basically a daily basis i had this out for my valentine's day um Makeup tutorial, this does not even exist anymore from Huda Beauty. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to put away these palettes from ColourPop, the Love Struck palettes. And all these little palettes I have back here. I have one from Juno & Co. that I don't wear. I actually could probably give this away. Um, and then I have my ColourPop palettes. Like There's certain ones, like this one I think is Crush and the other one Lyric. This one, um, I really love. I have a review tutorial um, a review with five tutorials on all of these palettes if you guys are interested They're totally worth it, but I'm a little bored of like just rotating between these for the last couple months This is a new palette from complex culture. I'm wearing this on my eyes today I filmed the tutorial so that will be up in the next few days. I'm gonna keep this in here for now The Manny MUA palette. I was loving this Towards the end of last year. I'm going to put this away because I don't really feel like I'm going to be wearing these cool toned shades anytime soon. But this is a gorgeous palette. I absolutely love it. I'm going to move these lashes out of the way just because they're a little bit annoying to look at right now. But then these other palettes from Too Faced. I do like them but I just don't see myself wearing them right now. I just want to stick to very neutral palettes. This is like reddish, purple, and then pink. So I'm going to put these away. Clear out all of these eyeshadow palettes. I honestly... Can't get myself to like this Raw Beauty Chrissy ColourPop palette. Like, I love Raw Beauty Chrissy and I love ColourPop. I just think I bought this just because of her. I think if this was just a regular ColourPop palette, I wouldn't have purchased it. This is not my color scheme at all when it comes to eyeshadow. And because it's not really the colors that I like to wear, I find it hard to come up with 
eyeshadow looks that flatter me. I have some other palettes back here that I am just not interested in wearing anytime soon. Too Faced, Complex Culture, and Ciate London. I have way too many palettes I haven't been using. I'm also going to put all of these away. These are all BoxyCharm palettes. I think they had their moment in my drawer for a little too long. But this is the new Complex Culture one I just showed you guys. I think this mascara is not old yet, so I'm gonna keep that here. I know this is very messy, but I do plan on using up some of these mascaras and eyeliners and brow products in the next month or two so I can cut it back a bit. Then I have my single shadows from Lawless. Like, these are my favorite eye products at the moment. I wear, well, I really just wear this one. I don't think I've done an eye look with this one, but they're so gorgeous. Definitely try those out, the bio glitters. Then just back here I have a bit more lashes, some lash glue. A lot of this is lash glue, lash products as well. So I basically cleared out my eyeshadows and I want to focus on trying out some older palettes in my collection. So getting into the rest of my makeup collection, here are my eyeshadow palettes. This is half, here's the other half, and then here are the rest of the products that I have not used in many months and I'm so excited to start using them again. So starting off with eyeshadow palettes, there are so many that I have not used in a really long time. I kind of want to use a Natasha Denona palette, maybe the gold one. I definitely think this would be a really pretty palette for spring and summer, so I'm going to add this to my drawer for now. This one is my favorite palette of all time. It's so dirty because I used it every single day for a long time. This is my favorite, just this is my favorite palette. Going Coconuts from ColourPop. I'm going to add this back to my drawer because this is a really great staple everyday neutral palette when I just want like one or two eyeshadows or a complete look. And I've been doing really simple makeup, so that is a really good one. I think that's going to be it from here. And there's a palette that I want to use from here. It is all the way back here. The Urban Decay Honey Palette. I feel like this is such a great palette for spring and summer. The gold's in here are so beautiful. Let me know if you guys have tried the Wild West palette from Urban Decay. Um, I was definitely interested in that palette, but this is my favorite Urban Decay naked palette for sure. I feel like it's the most cohesive. It's the one that makes the most sense. This shade Honey, like this yellow green shade is so beautiful. So I think those are gonna be the three palettes that I add to my drawer. Maybe I wanna pick one more. If I add one more, I think I'm either gonna go with this one, Latte 2. Or Soft Glam. I feel like they're both kind of around the same vibe. I think I'll go with Soft Glam because it has these like pink and purple shades that I absolutely love. I obviously like both palettes a lot. You can see they're both very used and this one especially has, um, I've hit quite a lot of pan in it and I'm excited to see if I can hit pan on a few more shades like in the next month or two. So these are the four very neutral palettes. My makeup routine is so different, y'all, since a year ago. Like, before, I'd be like, let me make sure I have at least one or two colorful palettes. But honestly, right now, I just want to wear beige eyeshadow. <laughs> and it makes me happy. So getting into the rest of my makeup collection, there's some products that I already know that I want to start using again. All right, I'm going to start off with this primer from Ole Hendrickson. This is the Banana Bright Face Primer. I really love this product at the time, and right now I love the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer, and I want to see how that compares. I do see myself really liking this product again. And, oh, the Stay Naked from Urban Decay, because I really want to see how I like this compared to the um, Hydromaniac Foundation, because I feel like there's similar coverage, and this was like in my top five foundations for a very long time, so I definitely wanted to see how it compares. Next, the Lancome Absolute Powder. I love a glowy face powder, especially now lately. I've been liking more dewier makeup, so I'm going to start using this again. This is definitely a lot more of like a highlighter finish compared to the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow. Like this is basically a sheer highlighter. Um, but let's see. I have been liking very glowy makeup lately. And before I was doing really full coverage matte makeup. So I might start wearing that. Um, it might make more sense in my routine now. I definitely want to include the Charlotte Tilbury face powder back into my routine. I've been using face powders 
every single day to touch up my makeup. If I wear a mask and come back home um, and my makeup's like messed up, I'll go in with a face powder. I use them more so now than I ever have in my whole time I've been wearing makeup. <laughs> So I think I can actually start to use this product up now that I'm letting myself use my good products in my collection um, Let's see what else. Oh this NARS concealer same thing when I'm wearing like no makeup makeup this Oh, it doesn't look that appetizing <laughs> But this is the NARS like full coverage um, Soft matte complete concealer I think for a no makeup makeup day, this and then this and some mascara is basically all I need. I'm also gonna add this blush in Georgia, it's the same name of my other favorite blush from Benefit, um, to my collection. This is from Persona Cosmetics. These came out like last spring and then I stopped wearing it but I just love Persona so much. It's my like favorite makeup brand. Um, this is one of my favorites, Gold Rush from Benefit. This is another one that I can use to replace Georgia. I found a few things over here I definitely want to use. These are the sequent shadows from Marc Jacobs. These are both limited edition um, from a year or two ago, but the formula of these eyeshadows, I think if I open it, it's gonna be, oh my gosh, a mess. But honestly, my I know my makeup is so messy. Don't judge me, or if you do, be nice, <laughs> but like I know I broke this traveling like two years ago and I just kept it and it's so good. This is the Gleam Girl Sequin Eyeshadow. Um, it doesn't exist anymore, but all of the Marc Jacobs eyeshadows are like gold. They're so beautiful. Like look at this. So stunning. I wish that these weren't limited edition, but honestly, I still buy them because they are just so gorgeous. Like, top 10 products of all time. Amazing. And then lastly, I'm going to use this bronzer from Becca. This is the one in Capri Coast. I loved this for such a long time. I haven't used it in like two years. And I feel like I should just use this bronzer up, especially now that I used up that Too Faced one, and this is very similar. I used to rotate between those two, and I know um, Becca is not gonna be around for much longer, so I want to use it. Um, I mean, I will still have it in my collection, but I kinda just wanna start using it again now. And I think those are all of the products that I'm gonna be picking. So here's a look into all of the products that I'm adding to my drawer for spring. There's definitely like a golden bronzy theme and then one silver eyeshadow, but I think that's gonna be kind of the overall daily look we're gonna be going for this spring. And then here are all the products that I took out of my drawer. I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I was just getting bored with. Some of them are great, especially the ColourPop ones, Manny MUA one, but I was kind of getting bored wearing the same like few palettes every day. Um, but I'm gonna be putting these back into those Alex drawers until at least the summertime. And then we have some products back here that we'll be tossing. These are used up and then this one is expired. So here is what everything looks like now that I switched out the other products. This drawer is so much better, a lot cleaner. I literally had over 15 eyeshadow palettes in here and I was only using like three. So I'm glad just to stick to a few similar color schemes and also palettes that I can like um, use together. Like some of these, basically all of these work together. They're the same kind of color schemes, like bronzy, gold, neutrals. That's everything in there. And then a lot of glowy things we got going in here for springtime. I definitely wanna see how these two primers compare and then how these two Urban Decay foundations compare. So that's gonna be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed going through my makeup collection with me and basically taking inventory of what products I actually use, what products I was avoiding using, and what products um, I would like to incorporate in my collection instead. I think this was a really good way to assess what kind of makeup I am liking right now, especially with the VIB sale coming up to be able to purchase like realistic products that actually work for my makeup routine and aren't just like fancy things that I might like for a week or two. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions on any of the makeup products and that's going to be everything for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.